Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining me today with another morning cup of hope. Get your cup. Let's fill it up with hope. I'm just praying that God blesses you today as we are in the Word together and spending some time praying together. God has been so good to us, and we are so blessed to be able to just spend time in His presence. Today we are going to read from Psalm 130, verse 6. It is from the New Living Translation that I'll be reading first. I long for the Lord more than centuries long for the dawn. And centuries long for the dawn. The complete Jewish Bible says that everything in me waits for Adonai more than guards on watch wait for the morning. More than guards on watch wait for the morning. And the NASB says my soul waits for the Lord more than watchmen wait for the morning more than watchmen for the morning. So here's my question. Um, why do watchmen so long for the morning? Why do watchmen so long for the evening to be, to be complete um, in just the anticipation of the dawn? And uh, the more I think about it, that the dawn symbolizes the light entering in just as Christ when he enters into our lives and changes our lives um, Christ is the light and so when sentries or watchmen are waiting in anticipation of the dawn there's this um, just an incredible sense of of protection that will be in our lives in this the breaking of the dawn is is uh, almost like a celebratory thing that we've made it. We've made it past this season of whatever it is that we're walking through. Um, for the watchmen, it was you know obviously these moments of um, of fear, right? Of of not knowing what the evening will bring, not knowing whether or not um, we'll be protected through the night, and it was their job. They had to take ownership of that as they were watching through the night. So they longingly waited for the dawn because one, they knew that their job was now complete and they were safe. They were able to keep their camp safe, but there's something uh, sacred about those wee morning hours. Um, and so I wonder for you, what season are you walking through right now that you are anticipating God bringing you through? You are anticipating God um, breaking through like the dawn. Um, good morning, everyone who's popping on to say hello. Thank you for, for saying good morning. Um, so we're in Psalm 130, verse 6 today, and we're talking about that our how our souls long for the Lord like the watchmen long for the dawn. And um, it's just an incredible picture, I think. Um, and I have so come to love being up in the morning, um, just the quiet. It, it is such a sacred time for me um, to have alone with God. And um, if you're up this morning and you know perhaps you've already been up for hours or perhaps you're just rolling out of bed, but either way, um, I really encourage other brothers and sisters to, to spend the time in the morning with God because there's just something so unique and special about it. Um, in the verse from the NASB, my soul waits for the Lord. The soul is the place where it's the seat of our emotions. It's the seat of uh, our appetite. It's the seat where our, our everything really comes out, right? It's, it's who we are at our truest core, who we are uh, at the deepest places of us. And what I love about this is that when God has our soul, when our soul, the very being, our heart, our the seat of our emotion and desire longs for him, it, it means that he has all of us. It means that he has our everything. And so it, it's almost like this, like finally God gets all of us, right? Not just the pieces of us. Um, I, I grew up in the church, right? So I lived a lot of my life um, taking a lot for granted, taking the relationship with God for granted, taking the ability that I have to enter in and to be in relationship for granted. Um, it was just a part of who I was and a part of the life that my family lived. 
And it wasn't until my, really my uh, young adult years after I'd walked through um, doing ministry and, and feeling uh, really just kind of out of place and not knowing where God was taking us and having to really trust him to provide. Marshall and I were actually doing some support raising and um, those are scary moments when you don't know where your next paycheck is is coming from and, and just trusting in God to work through the hands and feet of people to, to give. Uh, and so this is kind of like that too, where we have to trust God with our everything. We have to trust him to show up in ways. Um, and so I, I just encourage you today to, to be on guard, waiting for God. Uh, be on guard to, to watch him and wait for him expectantly to show up because he will. Uh, and he always does. He is so faithful and he is so good. And so this morning, uh, as you have your cup of hope with you, um, let's just fill it. I want to spend some time in prayer with you this morning, asking God to draw our souls into a deeper place with him to draw our hearts and minds into a deeper place with him that we give him our everything just like the watchmen are just expecting the dawn to come we let's expect god to meet us today dear heavenly father i pray over each one who is watching and each one who will watch father i pray that you would cover all of us with your protection and your provision god i pray um, for the words of this verse, Lord, that they would penetrate our heart and mind and our soul, just like um, your word says that, that, uh, that your word is alive and active and it, it separates joint and marrow. Lord, we know that your word has the ability to change hearts and minds. It has the ability to transform. So God, we do not take that for granted. I pray that you would bless each and every home, that you would draw us that from the de deepest parts of us, the depth of our soul, that you would draw us to get to know you better. Father, I pray um, just for this season of not knowing the scariness that it exists in the nights and the evenings for some people, um, the scariness of just being in the season of darkness, Lord, because we, we don't know what tomorrow holds. But Lord, you remind us that we never know, um, but you are always in control. So I thank you, Lord, that we have hope because we can rest assured in your, in your, in you and what you're doing in our lives. Thank you, Lord, for peace that comes with the break of dawn. In Jesus' name, I pray. So thank you, uh, brothers and sisters, for watching today. And remember that you can always replay the video um, and share. Uh, this morning when I checked, I was at 62... Um, subscribers on YouTube, my goal is to get to 100 by the end of April. So I have like, what, eight days, I think, to get to 100. So please help. Please help me get, get there. Um, I can't do it without you and without you sharing the hope that God has brought into your lives and sharing it with your friends and family. So blessings to you. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.